Hey guys, Shadow Strider here, and in today's video, I will show you my full solo fight against Heroic Deadeye. I will also give you advice, tips and tricks on how to kill him yourself. Some of the advice I can give can be applied in team battles, and I strongly encourage you to do that. Remember to like the video if you find it useful, as well as follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like it. For all the people who are not interested in taking him on solo, I will make a group guide with most of the tips and other ones which can help you beat him in a group. Most of these are applicable to team fights, if not all, but there are some differences which you have to consider when in a group. The normal dead eye is nothing compared to the heroic one. The first time I went against him with the party, we got annihilated in less than 2 minutes, because we were not prepared for what he had in store for us. Let's start with the gear first. If you're going against this guy, I highly advise you to max out your Shell Shock stat to plus 6 so that you get the immunity to the Shell Shock effect. Shell Shock is the explosive damage that his crews inflict when they hit you or when they land near you. This damage is something you need to make sure you never hits you. It is a game changer for the fight, making it from close to impossible to quite manageable. The Shell Shock effect reduces your movement speed and deals direct damage to you. It is like a damaging concussion grenade as your screen will also look a little bit blurry and white. All of my gear will be down below in the description for whoever needs it. There are a couple of ways to get the Shell Shock stat to plus 6. The first one is the one I used in this video. Helmet is a Dead Eye 1 at level 6 with plus 3 Shell Shock resist cell. Chest is a Dead Eye 1 at level 5 with a barb plus 3 cell. Gloves are razor wing ones at level 5 with plus 1 conditioning cell. Legs are razor wing ones at level 10 with plus 3 sharpened cell. My lantern is an ember bane one with a plus 3 etric attunement cell. My sword is a firebrand one at level 10 with plus 2 sharpened cell and a plus 2 tough cell. For the weapons and lanterns there are 3 options. Firebrand weapon plus Emberman Lantern, Shock Jaw weapon plus a Drask Lantern, and Razor Wing weapon plus an Emberman Lantern. Depending on what level your weapons are, you can choose between the three options. They will give you almost identical results in solo fights with minor differences, while in a group fight, you will need to coordinate with your other members in order for them to be effective. This build centers around having the Shell Shock at plus 6 and as much blade storm and sharpen stat possible. The reason I'm going for the last two is because the more part damage you do, the faster you will destroy the quills around Dead Eye's body. The more destroyed quills there are, the less he will fire during his abilities and the more your survival chances increase. If you manage by chance to destroy all of them before he enrages and regrows them, you will not have to worry about his quill barrage at all. The second build you can go for is a bit more risky since you will not have shell shock protection or immunity and will need to evade every single quill. However, it centers around destroying his quills a lot faster. For it, you need to have a full razor wing set of armor upgraded to a minimum level 6, but I recommend it to be level 10 for extra armor and protection. You will also need a razor wing weapon above level 6. The cells you will put in the gear can be mixed and matched but you want to achieve a plus 6 blade storm stat, plus 6 sharpened stat and as much endurance and conditioning stat you can. The sharpened and blade storm stat will help you destroy the quills around his body and his parts a lot faster, while the endurance and conditioning will give you more stamina and faster stamina regen in order to survive through his abilities. The final third build uses any armor and weapon combination you have as long as you have enough slots in them to put enough shell shock cells to get the plus 6 immunity. After you achieve that, you have full freedom to adapt the rest of the stats to your liking and playstyle. I will however recommend using elemental weapon rather than neutral one, but that is more to my liking. I made a few mistakes during this fight, which I should have not, and I advise you to take my advice for it. Firstly. Make sure none of his normal attacks land on you, you need to save your HP for when you happen to get hit by the quills. Just because you're immune to shell shock does not mean you have to allow the quills to hit you, they will still deal tons of damage even with maxed out armor. Stamina Tonic is your best friend during this fight alongside the Iron Hide Pylon. I try to save my stamina potion for the first enrage, but you can use it whenever you feel you need it. When he falls to the ground to shoot quills out of his back, the safest spot is to be between his head 
and the arm. The tail and body will do damage and hit you when he shoots. Also, he will rotate his body in a clockwise way towards the direction of his tail. Use this to stay away from him if you want and simply sprint around while he does the ability. Stay close to him and deal damage especially during his enrage. This will cause him to use more melee abilities rather than cool abilities. For him, forcing him not to use his cool barrage especially during his enrage is a lifesaver and can mean the difference between killing him and dying. If you are lucky enough you can pass through his enrage with only one cool barrage. The hardest part however is learning how to evade the enrage cool barrage. The normal one is easy since its pattern is the same as a normal quill shot and a normal dead eye to follow behind the player with a bit of delay. The enraged one however is more unpredictable but there is a way to learn how to properly evade it. Firstly look towards the sky so you can have constant view of where and how the quills will fly. This will help you in determining where and how to move or if you need to roll. Secondly I use the clockwise movement when he does this. The moment he starts the enraged barrage, I start running in an average circle, maybe as big as Deadeye himself. Look at the video and practice this a couple of times. As you can see, it works very well to confuse his quill's direction and can keep you safe most of the times with only sprinting and sometimes adding a roll in the whole thing. Do not make the circle very small and be careful not to make it too big. He fires the quills in a couple of sets. This is because when you face him with a group, each set of quills can go towards a different player. When you're solo, all go for you, so there is a small delay between sets and they change the trajectory during this time. With practice, you will learn when to change your trajectory and how much. I still get hit from time to time, but it definitely helps me manage the fight and kill this guy. Be careful because I did this with the shell shock immunity. I am not positive it is a 100% solution when you do not have it since one shell shock hit will slow you down and that means the quills can catch up to you. My other advice is to damage all of his parts so that his quills are moderately damaged everywhere and afterwards focus on a single one. The moment he goes in enrage start destroying every quill you can. The quills regrow when he enrages but they do not restore HP if they are damaged beforehand. This can help ease the enrage phase considerably. Remember that his enrage lasts around 30 to 40 seconds so if you're having a hard time doing damage while he's enraged work towards staying away and surviving his enrage and going back and damaging when he's in normal state. I do not advise making the fight for long since this gives possibility for making a mistake costing you the kill but sometimes that might be your only option. This is everything for heroic dead eye quill shot. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to discuss something or learn more then drop me a comment down below. Share this video as you see fit and lastly remember to follow me on Twitch and subscribe here on my channel for more video game and music content.